What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Well, definitely you know why it is. It's because we have just been for us 2-1 at Ellen Road. Oh my god, what a win can change your mood. How a win can just change your mood to excitement. Because we are staying up. You've heard it here first. You can clip this all you want. Because we are staying in the Premier League. Let's get into the video. Let's get into the reaction. Make sure you watch this thing. Because we're about to talk about this match. It was a brilliant game. It started off badly, though. We can see it at first. A poor goal. I blame Ailing. It's Ailing's fault. He headed it straight into a forest player. I can't remember who it was. And then they just counter-attack. And they get into the box. And they just score so easily. And I just... Ailing made a mistake there. And he was poor. I don't think he was great today. I don't think he was poor today. Um, let me get that straight. I don't think he was poor today. I don't think he was great today. I don't think anyone was bad today. I'm never. I'm not going to put any of those players in my... I've heard people talking shit about saying that Bamford wasn't good, Bamford was poor. He wasn't poor, he was decent. It was a decent performance. It wasn't a bad, great performance, I'm not saying that. It was a decent performance from him. It wasn't bad, it wasn't poor, it wasn't, oh, I don't want to see him anymore at this club. It was a decent performance. Decent. He did hold up play pretty well. I think his hold up play was still really good. And yeah, Jack Harrison, big game players we talk about big game players and that we need big game players jack harrison is that and all how close we were to seeing him go to leicester this big this big name player game player whatever the hell i'm saying it's all muddled up in my brain he scores that goal and all of a sudden it's just beautiful the strike i can't remember who hit it was it rocker or strike or i actually don't know who hit the first one but it's an absolute bullet of a shot it's saved and it drops kindly straight into Harrison, finishes it under the keeper, just under the keeper basically, so he can't get his hands low enough to get there. Bang, 1-1, one, one, we're back in it. Beautiful first half, I thought we'll attack, I thought we were way better. Forest were poor, by the way. They're one of, if not the worst team I've seen at Allen Road. At Allen Road, I think that's the worst team we've seen at Allen Road this season. This season, I think they've been the worst team at Allen Road. And at their place, they were probably the worst team we've versed, you know, even though we lost. But let's not talk about that. Who cares about that? We won today. They weren't that good. They were poor. And I don't know how they scored first. We were the better team all game. And then right before half time, Sinisostra came dancing through a couple of defenders and then shoots it and hits the back of the net. What an unbelievable strike that was. And Sinisostra okay, hits a little dance in the corner. It's beautiful. And we're 2 1 up going into the break. I'm like, all I was saying in um while I was doing my watch along. If you had, I didn't watch a watch along, you want to watch a watch along, come and watch my next watch along. I'm gonna do it against Palace. But and all I was saying is make it three, make it three, make it three one, make me feel comfortable. We end up not doing that because it ended two one. But what a performance from the boys, just to hang on mostly. Strap putting his body on the line again and again in that second half. When it got towards the end, Strap was putting his body on the line again and again. Brennan Johnson got pocketed by Senior Furpo. Senior Furpo absolutely pocketed Brennan Johnson. Brennan Johnson, who? Senior Furpo said, you're easy in my back pocket. Oh, it's amazing. Mark Rocker. People, I, I don't understand. There's a hate. There's a agenda hate against Mark Rocker. There's a big agenda hate against Mark Rocker. He was excellent today. He was unbelievable. McKenney's passing as well. I want to say McKenney hit a couple of balls over the top, which were beautiful. Pinpoint passes to the wingers and like I, I didn't think he had that in his locker but we've seen him do a couple of poor passes but this game he was hitting them he was hitting them long ranges out to the wings and it was beautiful back on mark rocker man of the match for me mark rocker's man of the match he was unbelievable he was unbelievable in that match he deserves man of the match in my opinion and he was great you have Sinistera and Jack Harrison causing trouble on the wings, absolutely destroying both left back and right back, showing them how to done. And then Bamford's hold up play, I think, was good. I enjoy his hold up play. I thought he could have scored. He missed a couple of chances, but I didn't think he was bad. And people that's people keep will keep saying he's bad because it's a gender against a lot of players. But Bamford has a lot of people that are against him, and there's a gender against him. Same with Rocker or somehow. I don't know why Rocker gets his agenda hate. I don't know what Mark Rocker's done. Bamford the same, he just gets his hate, even if he has a good performance, people say he's played bad, I'm not saying he had a great performance, I'm just saying he had a decent performance, he wasn't poor, he wasn't bad, he was in the middle in my opinion, and you can disagree with me all you want, but my opinion is the right one, uh, but yeah, the entire team, I didn't think anyone really played bad, 
Somerville comes on, Rodrigo comes on, they look sharp. Somerville had he missed that shot at the end, oh my god. He was one on one, he somehow spooned it all the way to the right. We don't care because after he missed that, the final whistle blew and we all went up and we won that game. But oh god, Somerville, you got to finish that. God, if we're in a game where we need a score, and it's just, what if it was 1 1 at that stage and he absolutely blew that? But thank god it wasn't. But if there is a game where we're the nil nil or we're behind and he gets that chance, if he spoons it like that, oh no. He did well to get him behind. Rodrigo comes on. He looks great. Um, I want to see Bamford and Rodrigo starting against Palace. That's what I want to say. I want to see both of them starting together against Palace. Brendan Aarons, I thought, was good. He, as always, he always just... His energy sprinting out the defenders. He does a lot of hard work that we don't... You know, he does a lot of the hard work, and I think he does really well. Yeah, and I enjoyed um, our performance. Grazia saved us. What a manager he is. Give him the job. There's somehow still people that are saying, get... Get Rodgers in. Get Potter in. No, 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 no. Grass is going to take us on a European tour next season, baby. We're going to survive this season. Next season, we're going to make it all the way to the Europa League. All the Champions League. No, I mean, for the Conference League. But I digress. That's going to be a while till we do that because it's another season. But what a performance. And this gives me so much confidence going into the um, Palace game, thinking that we are going to beat Palace. I have so much confidence. Other results did go away today as Villa won and Brighton won as well. Brighton beating Bournemouth and Villa, who also beat Leicester. And it was two great performances. It was two teams that we needed to beat the other team. We wanted to beat the other team and they both did it. And the results go our way this weekend. Leave a like if you're hyped for this result and hyped for this win. Let me know in the comment section down below who your man of the match was. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.